listen, JC on your TV. Yeah, to tell the world. It's not just country. Live and direct from Music City. Leave your mark on the world by making history. Hottest of the hot, this is your shot to blast off your career to the number one spot. We just wanna make sure the whole world can watch and be the helping hand to push you over the top. Country, blues, jazz, and hip hop, and we film it all down at the Hard Rock. Asking the artists about their hard knocks and what motivates them to never ever stop. And it's gonna be hard to make sure you tune in and make sure that you watch, cause it's not just country. That's what they yelling when they ask. Welcome to the all new Not Just Country. Each week, Not Just Country will spotlight two of Nashville's best music artists and bands from all genres of music. That's not just country. Let's get right to it. There's lots to see and hear on today's show. Nashville, not just country. Our first band, Pneumatic, are what some would call indie, melodic pop, electronica, and rock and roll all in one. It's hard to define them, but hints of early Duran Duran with influences from Radiohead and Stereophonics are present in their music. Pneumatic's hooks hook you and images from their live show stay with you long after the smoke smell washes out of your t-shirt. Lightning 100, we're not just country.
inspired, you want to sing, you want to recite some spoken words, you want to rap, whatever. If you feel like doing anything, just come up here, express yourself however you want to. Shut up and sing. We're not just country with the band Pneumatic. One is from Vegas, I hear. And where are you from, Ryan? Mississippi. Ryan. Okay, all right. So every member in the band is from a different place, right? That is true. Okay, okay. So why Nashville? Right. Los Angeles and New York are such overwhelming places. You know, when I was choosing somewhere to move, you know, Nashville has so much industry here and so many people here. It's just a, it's a melting pot of musicians. Mm -hmm. and we, we came here, we found each other as band members um, because of Nashville and uh, it's just a great city. So how did y'all know it was such a melting pot of musicians? Had Word you of been mouth. Oh, for real? Word of mouth. Uh, okay. I the internet. Se several of my friends had moved here as well, um, musicians. Before you had? Before we came. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's good to have people you know around you. Yeah, absolutely. Anybody after y'all moved here, you told, have you told anybody to come to uh, Nashville? Yes, we, we've had some people move up here, yes. We've talked them into this. So, I've talked uh, quite a few people into moving up here. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, what are some of the challenges that y'all found by moving here? Since there are so many musicians here, you know, you have to find your niche as, as an artist, and everyone's trying to catch a break. Um, right. So that's the biggest challenge is how to market the band, how do we, how do we stand out amongst all these killer, killer songwriters, bands, um, and musicians. Uh, that's one of the greater challenges I, I personally I think we, we face. There's so many good people and it's finding people that want to relate to you and want to play the same music as you and want to work as hard as you because everybody's yes. out there working hard. Yeah. Dang. How many members are there in the band? It's three. Okay. Three. Okay. We have rotating, uh, we have a guitar player that rotates. We have different people play guitar. Okay. So what is the drive? But what keeps the drive going? Well, performing is, is our, is our is our thing. We love to play live and seeing the fans into it and, and reaching out to new fans is what, is what keeps us going. And it doesn't matter if there's 50,000 people there or if there's five people there. If one person gets it and one person enjoys it, then that's considered success to me. Well, thank y'all for being on the show. Absolutely. Thank so, you. Thanks so for having us. You're, you're very welcome. for more amazing music from Not Just Country. We'll be right back.
Hey everybody, my name is Chris Blair, owner of the Listening Room Cafe here in Nashville, Tennessee. We have become known as the best music venue in town with the best sounding room, and I'm so proud of that. But what you don't know, our lunch menu is diverse with daily specials Monday through Friday, where we feature locally grown produce and freshly baked breads. And don't forget about our $5 lunch special. I'm really proud of where we've come in the past three years, and I pledge to keep providing you with the best music in town. So come on down and see us real soon. Country. Our next artist, K.S. Rhodes, blends pop rock hooks along with symphonic string instruments that would make any conductor proud. His musical compositions truly have an instrumental twist which causes his audience to move. K.S. won an Emmy Award for his contribution to the Nashville Rescue Mission's PSA, Give Me Hope, by lending his song, Dark Horse, to the project. Always one to give back, K.S. Rhodes gives a performance worthy of a standing ovation. Check him out. I had a home. Yeah, I had a home. Until the hurricane come and blow it all down. I had a love Yeah, I had a love Till the hurricane come I guess it wasn't strong enough Swing low Cause it's time to take me home Down here I got no place, no place to call my own Ever since the hurricane blown I had a dream, I had myself a dream yeah, I had a dream Until the hurricane come in between Swing low, cause it's time to take me home And down here I got no place, no place to call my own Ever since the hurricane blown Watch out
got a plan I got myself a plan And it's a real good plan I'm gonna make me your man I'ma ride that hurricane until I make me your man I'ma ride that hurricane until I make me your man Oh, I'm gonna ride that hurricane until I make me your man Nashville, not just country. It's your boy 5-3, one third of the super group Black Catfish. Shout out to Slim Chan, shout out to Sam Bricks. Now I want y'all to be on the lookout for this new single dropping August 18th. It's called Wonderful. Wouldn't that be wonderful? But until then, I want y'all to munch on this AY Go. It's in the streets right now. Go on and get your plate up. It's good food. It's all prepping everybody for the amazing album coming in December. Your third. It's 5-3 signing out. Black catfish. <laughs> Live on the Green, a free six-week concert series held in Nashville, Tennessee. This downtown event promotes sustainable living, an active lifestyle, environmental and community awareness, while providing entertainment from a diverse group of artists and bands. Not just country. I'm Kyle Hill sitting here with crazy, sexy roads or chaos roads. <laughs> How's it going, man? Good, yeah, man. Good, good to be here. Thank you for being here with us, man. So, uh, so you got a new CD you're working on? Or yeah, we're starting a new one right now. We've got uh, I've got a first CD that's out called Dead Language, and uh, right now I'm in the studio. I actually just came from there, uh, trying to finish the next one. Okay. And how many songs was on the first one? Twelve songs. And, yeah. and how many are you putting on this one? Not as many. Okay, okay. No. Why not? It takes more time. <laughs> it takes more time. But um, yeah, there were, actually there, were, there might be ten or eleven songs. I don't know. You know, people talk about doing EPs a lot, um, which is sort of a way to go these days. A lot mm -hmm. of people are doing EPs because it's sort of easier to get something out quick. Right. But I kind of, I have this old fashioned love, you know, like all, all the records I grew up loving were like long play albums, you know, like Pink Floyd and, yes. you know, Zeppelin yes. and, and Blind Melon and all these things that, I liked growing up, you know, the only EP I think I ever had was Alice in Chains. So, um, <laughs> so now, I, and there's something weird about it. Like, I feel unfinished, you know? Exactly. exactly cause but it's like, they can be great. Some people do them and they're awesome. Now, um, are those big influences on you? Pink Floyd and Zeppelin? Are, are they influences? Yeah, there's probably a lot of influences, but I think, I think mostly I'm influenced by classical music. Okay. And, um, you know, I was influenced by hip hop, Beastie Boys and stuff back in the day. And, uh, Sometimes I think a lot of that comes out in, in my stuff is sort of a mixture of, uh, you know, I like hip hop beats. I like, mm -hmm. you know, I like grooves, but I also like the, the linear mastering of, of classical music. Right. Like strings JBC. And, and, yeah, yeah. yeah but, so I love yeah. strings. Uh, you, you'll be hearing my string section a little bit. I'll be playing with this. So. All right, all right. So yeah. how far do you plan on taking this, man? You beatbox, got strings. Where are you taking this? I what just, is, what man, is your goal? What, what do you see yourself in, in the next two years? I think of it less on a, just a career level and more just on a self-artistic level. I mean, I like producing, I do string arranging for a lot of other artists, um, you know, in Nashville and all around the country. Like sometimes a band will, they'll just email me tracks and, and they want a string arrangement. So I do the strings and then record the, the, the strings and send them back to them. 
So there's a lot of stuff like that. And, you know, I, I do plan like in, in a, about 10 years or so to be getting into scoring films and stuff. Don't you go nowhere. We might get a little closer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love, feel the love, the love is in the building. <laughs> She gets lost in the grave And you might go out and find another But it ain't gonna wash your love away Not just country. I was injured in a horrible car accident. I couldn't do the same thing that I used to do. From depression and loss of work and worried about how I was going to take care of my son to now working at this great place changed my life and his life. Goodwill has helped me do that. Give it to Goodwill and your donation gives Tanya and others the chance to earn a living and make a life for their families. Give a bat and ball and you give us confidence. Introducing Guitar Apprentice. This ain't no video game. Up next, join NJC Stephanie Langston as she talks one-on-one -on -one with public relations expert Kurt Webster. Now, Kurt has worked amongst the who's who in the music biz. He and his team have guided publicity and marketing campaigns for such artists as Hank Williams Jr., Dolly Parton, Kid Rock, Leonard Skinner, just to name a few. But don't worry, because he has a soft spot for future stars, too. And Kurt just might be the guy for your band or artist's PR needs. I'm Stephanie Langston here with Kurt Webster, the man who has represented artists like Kid Rock, Hank Williams Jr. Kurt, tell us what Webster PR does. We do public relations and marketing for corporate brands, country music celebrities, rock celebrities, urban celebrities. Um, Celebrity seems to be the um, keyword here. <laughs> keyword here, and and at the same time, it's what everybody cares about. You know, TMZ being the the number one website, you know, radar online. Everybody wants to gravitate to celebrity one way or the other. And you're the man behind it all. So tell us when you started Webster PR and how you got on that path. I started in 1995. Moved to Nashville from Phoenix. So, um, came here, sold T-shirts for Clay Walker um, for a full year realized that I didn't come here to sell t-shirts and sling cotton for a year. Um, so I started my PR company just by hanging up a shingle and a sign and saying, here we go. And um, cold calling a lot of people saying, I I'm your guy. Well, some people said okay, and some people just shut the door, and here we are 15 years later, and we've got a great roster. You do have a great roster. Talk about some of the people that aren't just country on your roster. Well, we um, work with Smokey Robinson. We work with um, Brandy or Ray J. We work with um, Kid Rock. We work with Three Doors Down. We have represented a lot of celebrities that um, aren't country, but a lot that are. Now you just listed a lot of A-listers that are on your roster and some big shows out there. What about for the new up-and-coming bands that are watching this show right now? Uh, when is it the right time for them to get a PR person behind them, and how could they go about contacting someone as big as you? Well, first off, you have to you have to have if it's a music person, you want the music to be right. That's first and foremost. Um, that's what you're selling, and if it's not sellable, nobody's going to buy it. That's number one. Number two, um, and in our business, um, you have to find people that are passionate about what you do specifically. I moved to town for two goals, and that was to work with Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton, and I've gotten to work with both of them. Check, check. Um, so I know that if, if, if I died tomorrow, I could say I lived my dream because I got to work with, with the two people that really brought me into this business and why I wanted to get in it. Um, but beyond that, you know, I just want to continue to help, you know, make other people famous. And I like being behind the scenes. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Kurt. I appreciate your time. Absolutely. For more information on Kurt Webster or Webster PR, be sure and visit NJCTV.com. Nashville, not just country.
What up, good people? This is MD from MD and Cobalt Blue. Hope you're having a beautiful day. I'd like to invite you to be a part of our family. You can do so by visiting our website at mdandcobaltblue.com. Listen to our music at Reverb Nation, MD, and Cobalt Blue. We would love to play at your next event. Contact us at 615-397-2706. Remember, MD and Cobalt Blue. One, two, three, let's go! Come on! Come on! Just bounce! Yeah! Yeah! I just gotta have her as my girlfriend. What? What? As my girlfriend. What? What? As my girlfriend. What? 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 I gotta have her as my girlfriend. As my girlfriend. Tonight! I walked over to her slowly, I said, hey, my name is Chancellor. There's a couple questions that i like for you to answer. Do you have a man? Are you Capricorn or Cancer? Love the way your body moves, I bet you are a dancer. I'll tell you all about it, I'll tell you all about it, I'll tell you all about it. Listen, 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 I'll tell you all about it. I'll tell you all about it. I'll tell you all about it. Let's start, let's start, let's start. Well, hello, I'm me. Now you get to champagne. It's a hard rock cafe. Okay, wait. We're running out of dough. We're running for that stuff. So let's get some fun. Let's get some fun. I am a from a bar in the back of a car. In the bathroom stall, you're a superstar. Join NJC Stephanie Langston as she talks one-on-one with urban music promoter Eric Holt. Now, since 2003, Eric Holt's company Love Noise has highlighted the brightest local, national, and international R&B artists to come out by bringing together a live audience of tastemakers and trendsetters. Nashville, not just country. We've been doing 